in just a few moments. Holy, we're gonna get trapped in that. We gotta go. Hi, I'm James Lefer, and you're watching the Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Today we're going to be taking a look at strange, creepy, and unexplained videos. Actually. This is a compilation to sort of celebrate the videos that were released by That Is Impossible channel in 2022. Well, I did a really good selection, or at least I think, and I hope you guys enjoy. Are you ready? Let's go. In today's world, telephones aren't just telephones anymore. They're computers very fast computers with cameras on them. Almost everyone has a phone, so in other words, almost everyone can become a cameraman and capture from the funniest to the most bizarre moment ever. A couple of weeks ago in Southern California, Jeffrey Page was with a couple of friends at home enjoying the evening in their apartment balcony, when all of a sudden they noticed something strange going on. What appears to be a fleet of fiery objects hovering just next to their home. At a certain moment, I thought that these were meteors or some sort of object falling from the sky. But after watching it a few times, I've noticed that some of them stay in the same place while others seem to move. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but it wasn't just Jeffrey that captured this on camera. The entire neighborhood was baffled. What the f is this? It's dropping things. What is that? No. Dude, what the f is that? I think it's lanterns, Japanese lanterns. No, it's not. Where did that come from? Oh no, they're blinking. Oh yeah, it's a Japanese lantern. No, it's not. They're flying. After some of these videos going viral, internet users were divided between is this a fleet of unknown objects or is this some sort of skydiver show? To this moment, there isn't enough information for us to say, but I'm guessing that this could be skydivers, unless I'm wrong. What do you think, and have you ever seen anything like this? Now this isn't the first time that unknown objects appear near the coast. In Scotland, a professional drone pilot accidentally caught something really strange on camera while doing some photo shoot on a very beautiful day. Check this out. Whatever this thing is, it's going way too fast to be any known aircraft, but I could be wrong. Now it doesn't stop there. A couple of weeks ago, a video was uploaded by Alexis Manta on Facebook. The video went viral almost instantly, showing us what appears to be some sort of objects falling into the ocean on the coastline in Campechana, Mexico. Mamá, el único puto lo grabó, coño. Ahí va, ahí va. No se ve. Ah, sí, ya se vio. Sí, 
¡Corre! Oye, pero se está metiendo al mar. Ajá, se están metiendo. No manches, ahí hay otro. Ese está, está arriba, pero arriba, ¿viste? Sí, sí, ¿De dónde salen? El agua, en el agua. El agua, velo. ¿De dónde salen? ¡Corre, che, es esa madre! Several strange, shiny objects keep falling from the sky into the ocean. When they hit the ocean, they start burning a strange substance, and you can imagine that the people that were recording this were completely baffled by it. To this day, there are no official reports on what really is going on here, so it's still a mystery. <laughs> Now it could be debris from space, and it could be something else. What is your take? Now talking about strange things, I remember when I was much younger, I used to watch superhero movies and ask myself if one day I would also have superpowers. As I grew up, I found out it wasn't exactly like that, but that's okay because it basically happens with everyone, or almost everyone. Tarzan! Afford. In this video, for instance, Jeff Janish was walking his dog in Russia, in the woods, when all of a sudden something catches his dog's attention. Tarzan! Tarzan! He's got come near! He followed his dog and what happened next left him speechless. What is He comes upon what appears to be a mother and a daughter supposedly levitating, hidden in the middle of the woods. Throughout time, there have been many people who have shown to have some sort of superpower. From Buddhist monks levitating and changing their body temperatures, to Wim Hof withstanding extreme cold temperatures, there are a few people out there who have superhuman powers that to this day, experts can't explain. Now what I find interesting is that most of these superhumans claim to use some sort of altered state of mind to achieve most of these abilities. It's as if they have unlocked the human brain somehow. That ball of light, that awareness, and consciously move it to any area of the mind that you want to go to. And if somebody or something is pulling that awareness to an area of the mind that you don't want to go to, you use your willpower and your powers of concentration. Now if this is the case, then maybe it would help explain some really strange videos out there. A couple of weeks ago, a man by the name of Isaac Luna started posting strange and odd videos to social media. Isaac usually posts videos of him doing his daily chores. Establish my territory. He knows this area is mine. Or exercising his body and mind. This is until last week, when his subscribers noticed something odd. This, for instance, is the first video where things start to get strange with Isaac's account. Envision the shoulder press. 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 That's the movement. Looks so something like that. If you have any questions, let me know, but um, everyone should be able to do this movement. When I first watched this video, I was pretty sure that this man was somehow levitating using some sort of camera trick or maybe a rope. And I guess most people thought that too. His Instagram and TikTok followers were completely divided between is this a camera trick, a green screen, or is it maybe real? This is when Isaac posted his second video in a different setting in his backyard. Check this out.
However it is that Isaac is doing this, he left most of his viewers baffled. But still, there were people who thought he was using some sort of green screen or a special effect. Isaac then posted a third video in the grass, in the middle of his backyard, not touching any wall. Check this out. Focus. As Isaac posted more of these videos, it became stranger by the day. If it's a trick or not, no one knows how he's doing it. People all over the world were trying to do the same thing on TikTok and Instagram without any success. And to prove that he wasn't using any green screen, Isaac posted a fourth video showing his backyard. He also posted a couple of the methods that he's using to achieve this ability. The books that he's reading, the Tesla coil that he bought, and what he calls exercising the core energy every day. Whatever it is that's going on here, I'm pretty sure that it should be a trick, but no one has figured out how it is that he's pulling it. In his last video we can see clearly he's not using any rope of any sort or green screen special effect. Check this out. Levitation. Focus. Lift. Feel. Smash. How is it that Isaac is doing this? If it was supposed to be some sort of elaborate trick, there would be hundreds, thousands of people maybe doing the same thing on TikTok and Instagram, and this isn't the case. So what's going on here? Is this maybe the real deal? Is it some sort of glitch in the simulation or is it some sort of superpower? What's your take? If you're familiar with TikTok, you've probably come across the hillbillies. A normal family channel that talks about their normal daily lives, in the woods, living in the countryside. Now, most of their videos are focused on family topics, and if you take a closer look, you'll see that they normally don't talk about mysterious or unexplained things. However, recently, something strange has been happening in their home in the woods. And this is what they caught on camera. I just let the dogs out and this it's happening again. Dude, what? Huh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Listen to that. What? I don't know. Dude, why do you think I brought them in the house and run out here? Listen to that. No more by themselves or they be out here right now. Dude, 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 get him in the house. Get him in the house. Get him in the house. Sean hears a terrifying howling noise coming deep from within the woods. He tells his family to go inside and he immediately goes to investigate it. What he finds out, however, 
is that they're not alone. There's something out there, and he wants to find out what it is. This is what happens next. I think we're dealing with something more than what we thought. God, that gives me chills listening to that. Yeah, we're filming a new Bigfoot Chronicles, and we found what we've been looking for. Look at this. That goes way back. We gotta get some flashlights. Sean goes back home and uploads these videos to TikTok. The next day, he goes back to his normal daily vlogs. And in the middle of one, something strange happens. Again. Life's about spreading love. So tag three people that... What the hell? Dude, I know I'm not going crazy. Again. That was clear. Now taking into consideration that whatever this thing is, it's very close to Sean's home. He does what anyone would do and he starts setting up cameras in the woods. And this is what happens. This is crazy and I don't know how to explain this. I, I really don't even want to do this. So I left a camera sitting here to just see if I can catch anything. And this was in place of it. This is some Blair Witch stuff right here. What the hell? Right there, I put those in the ground to kind of prop the camera up because I forgot my tripod. And now the camera's gone. And it stinks right here bad. The same night, the strange sounds can be heard coming from the woods again. This time, dogs are barking all over. What in the world is that? Dude, that's got every dog in the neighborhood wide open barking. What is it? What is that? In fear and intrigued about what's going on, Sean installs more cameras the next day, but this time he catches something strange. So I'm up here checking the trail cam for the next Bigfoot Chronicles. You don't want me here? <gasps> when reviewing one of their trail cams, they capture what appears to be a dark figure lurking just behind one of the trees. This is the only video that I know of that Sean captured that may be some sort of evidence that they're not all alone. Scared and knowing that at any moment he can come across whatever this creature is, Sean stops recording the Bigfoot Chronicles, which can be found in his TikTok. However, if we search deeper into the internet, there are a couple of videos that actually caught what's supposed to be a Sasquatch on camera. Oh, I gotta leave first, but I'm one... I'm gonna get... I, you can... No, you'll be fine. I'm just gonna get more footage of the Sasquatch. Hey, seriously, look how big it is. He's just chilling. Local hunter Austin Craig was with his friends and family when he captured what appears to be a Sasquatch climbing up the hill of Northeast Provo in Utah. I don't think it is a human. I think it's a Sasquatch. Because look, he's on the mountain, way far back on the mountain. But look how huge he is. Okay, so now we drove way down the hill. And look how big that person still is, all the way up on that mountain. Way the hell up there. You can see them right there. Right there. He's sitting on a rock, he's huge. There is also another video that was posted by CZU Uncut YouTube channel of what appears to be a Bigfoot chasing a man on an ATV. Check this out. They tried to bring those guys on talk shows and everything. And when they had to like look up their record, they had all these felonies like in process so they couldn't actually do anything. Like, like, I got a friend, uh, Jimmy. I think you got the best one. They come across what appears to be a tree branch that has been cut in half. Some people in the comment section theorize that this could actually be the result of Sasquatch or Bigfoot hunting in the forest. After a few moments, the co-pilot pans the camera over to the driver and catches something completely unexpected on camera. That's 
got a talk show, I guess. Completely unaware of what they had just caught on camera, they continue on their path. And after uploading the video to YouTube, many internet users commented that this could be the real deal. Due to the fact that the tree seemed to be recently cut down, and it could be that the Sasquatch itself was in that region, heard the ATV coming and started running away. Other internet users say that this is fake, that it was too much of a coincidence that the co-pilot panned the camera into the driver's direction and caught the Sasquatch on cam. Now I'm not too sure about this, but CZU Uncut does not upload videos of mysterious and unexplained things. This is their only video where they supposedly caught something strange on camera. And according to them, the sighting was near Lake Sisla Dobsis in Maine. In your opinion, is this fake or is it a real deal? If there's one place on earth that's full of mysteries and that we will most likely not be able to travel to to check out Google Earth features, that would be Antarctica. It's too cold and it's too far away. But the thing is, if we take a look into Antarctica throughout Google Earth, there's a number of mysterious structures and buildings there that we have little to no idea to what they're doing or to what they really are. A couple of years ago, YouTubers and Google Earth explorers found a very strange circle in one of the regions in Antarctica. The circular pattern can be found just next to what appears to be a mountainous region on the Antarctic ice. And if you look at it closely, it looks like it's some sort of man-made structure, maybe a compound or an underground building of some sort. However, some researchers believe that this could actually be a natural formation, a natural phenomena of some sort because of the ice sheet melting. The thing is, the Antarctic ice sheet is quite thick, and I'm not too sure that this is the case. And it does look like it's some sort of man-made structure or maybe something like that. However, to this day, no one knows exactly what this is and who made it. So it remains a mystery just like many other things about Antarctica. But this isn't the only structure that's bizarre. If you take a look at this other mountainous region, there's what appears to be a stairway to absolutely nowhere. And I've looked at this structure closely a couple of times, maybe more, and I can't seem to figure out what it is. Could it be the remains of some sort of ancient construction hidden now under Antarctic ice? Or maybe something else? It doesn't make sense. If you take a look at it, it's there. It's a stairway on top of a mountain. But it leads to where? In my opinion, the most reasonable explanation would be that this is some sort of glitch. Maybe a photographic glitch. But the thing is, if we change the direction and we look at it at different perspectives, it's still there. Which most likely means that this is not some sort of glitch. So what is this? In your opinion, what are the secrets and mysteries beneath the Antarctic ice? And what is this mysterious staircase and this bizarre shaped circle that is found on Google Earth? Now I don't know about you, but when I watched the movie The Predator for the first time I was really scared about the fact that that thing could become invisible in the middle of the woods while it hunts. I was really scared, but at the same time I was really happy that it was just a movie. But what if it isn't just a movie? A couple of weeks ago, Raven Love 11 uploaded a video where her and her husband witnessed something completely unexplainable in their backyard and they were able to capture it all on camera. But before I go into this video, I would like to show you guys two other videos that were uploaded to social media a couple of years ago. Videos that I thought were maybe fake, and now, there's a possibility that they were actually real. In one particular video recorded supposedly in 1997, a father and a son are hunting in the woods when they come face to face with what appears to be a cloaked figure. Check this out. Do 
over there. Look, 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 look. Over there. Do you see that? What the hell? Wait, 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 wait. wait. That, because that was it again. Right there. Right there. Wait, 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 wait. I don't like this. You see that? Right there. Look, 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 look. Oh, my God. What appears to be an invisible figure can be seen moving quietly in the woods. The father and the son realize that they're not alone and they run as fast as possible. The video quality isn't exactly that good, so it's very difficult to say if this video is the real deal, but it doesn't stop there. Bob Garrett, a Bigfoot investigator, released a video by the name of Three Miles In. And in this video, we can see what appears to be the same thing happening, but in a very different place, in a different time. Many YouTubers released videos analyzing this part. One of them was Paranormal Intelligence YouTube channel, and the other one was Scott Carpenter. In both videos, we can clearly see what Bob Garrett captured on camera. Check this out. Did you see that? You probably didn't. It was too quick for the human eye, but Bob Garrett captured it on camera and we can now slow-mo and review the footage over and over. And we can clearly see the same invisible figure hiding in the woods. But it doesn't stop there. A couple of months ago, Raven Love Eleven was enjoying her time with her family in their backyard in North Carolina when something really strange happened, something that they can only describe as one of the most sinister things ever. And they caught it all on camera and this is what happened. What the heck? It's like there's something up there. Oh, no, look at it, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. No, no. Oh, oh, Internet users were completely baffled and divided. Some believe they can actually see something up there in the trees, while others think that this is due to the soil becoming weaker and wind. However, in my opinion, I don't see how this has anything to do with the soil becoming weaker or the tree eroding or anything like that. In the beginning of the video, we can clearly see it's as if there's something hanging in the tree and jumping from one side to the other. Not only that, I don't see any wind, but I could be wrong. In your opinion, what do you think is going on here? Now, I don't know if you know about this, but every year, 10% of the total population moves from their previous home to a new one. In the United States alone, for example, that would be about 30 million people moving homes every year. That's quite a lot. But in 2020 and 2021, those numbers were even higher. Not just in the United States, but all over the world, 2020 and 2021 were really strange years. Meu, olha isso que tá acontecendo no céu de Porto Alegre nesse momento, cara. Está temblando, se foi a luz. What? But it was about to get even stranger, as in Stranger Things for LR. A TikToker who was posting regular videos on his TikTok account about his daily life. 
This is until he moved into a new home in Chihuahua, Mexico. This is what he caught on camera. Como les comentaba en el en vivo, eh, se está abriendo más. Por ahí no sé si se alcanzan a ver. Ahí está. Ahí se empiezan a ver unas voces. What appears to be some sort of light source can be seen emanating from within his wall. Baffled, LR posts this video to his account to see if anyone has any idea to what's going on here. Needless to say, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments and internet users were divided. While some internet users thought that this could be the real deal, most thought that this could be fake, maybe some sort of paint, a light source behind the wall, or maybe some sort of computer editing software. Well, this is when LR posted a next video to show his fans that it wasn't any sort of editing or a paint or anything like that. And this is what happens next. In this video we can see him going inside the room turning lights on and off and showing us the fissure on the wall which appears to be glowing a little bit less. <laughs> Whatever this strange phenomenon is, it has to be one of the strangest things ever. Unless of course it's a hoax. But LR continued on posting videos about this strange phenomenon, and in this next video, he replies to a subscriber who wanted to see the other side of the wall. Check this out. Okay, ahí está la grieta. Esto es para los que quieren ver por atrás. Ahí está la grieta. Entonces, voy a poner mi mano aquí para que vean que no hay ningún corte. Ahí está la grieta. Esto es el baño. Aquí está la puerta del baño. Sí, aquí está mi mano. Y aquí se hace un muro, que es este, que divide la cocina del baño. Aquí lo pueden ver. Entonces está este muro, pero es, no está la roca. Entonces si nos venimos, aquí está la cocina y no hay nada atrás. No hay grietas. Bueno, ahí está mi mano para que no hay ninguna grieta. Still not convinced, internet users asked him, what if he had some sort of water leak in his roof? He waits for a rainy day and captures it on camera, and this is what happens. Okay, ahorita está lloviendo. Aquí vamos a ver. Entonces, vamos allá. Y ahí está la grieta. He actually zooms in good enough for us to see the details on the wall's fissure and. There's absolutely nothing special about it. It looks like a very normal and very old wall. So, how come? Now, if this is not paint, and if it's not sunlight coming from outside, then what the heck is going on here? The fact is, in one of his live feeds on Instagram, one of his subscribers captured a chilling moment where this light source appears to glow stronger and then weaker again, making it evident that this is something else, this is not paint, this is not some sort of artificial glow or anything like that. It seems as if there's something inside his wall. This is the video. <laughs> Después de que le pegué a la puerta, vean eso, vean eso. En vivo, o sea, estoy en vivo, no estoy moviendo nada, y ahí están mis abuelitos. Not only is it now glowing by itself, it seems that it's also becoming bigger. Como les comentaba en el en vivo, eh, se está abriendo más. In this next video, LR points out something that his subscribers noticed. It's the fact that the crack on the wall is becoming bigger by the day. There's something definitely strange about LR's home, and I'm not sure I know what. 
in your opinion, what do you think is going on here? Do you think this is some sort of portal or is it maybe something else? What's your take? When it comes to exploring old mines, caves or tunnels, one has to be prepared for basically anything. In case of coming face to face with a dangerous animal or exploring an old mine that could actually at any moment cave in, there are certain rules of thumb that we should know before going into these kinds of adventures. However, there are certain things that could occur that we have absolutely no idea how to react to. And this is sort of what happens in this next video that we're about to watch, where a family was face to face with a completely unexplained and bizarre situation in their own home. And they caught it all on camera. Patty Seferiano and her family had moved to a new home in a small town in Mexico. And after a few years living there, they started noticing a breathing sound coming from below their backyard. They believed it to be coming from the sewer system. After a while, they noticed that this sound was kind of frequent and they were afraid it could be some sort of creature living there, so they called public services and the sewer system service to check on this bizarre sound. After they did, they found out that there was absolutely nothing living in their sewer system. But the sound did not stop. It continued on happening for two more years. So this is when Patty Seferiano decided to start recording this bizarre phenomenon on camera. This, for example, is the first video where she catches what appears to be this breathing sound coming from somewhere underground. And this is what they got on camera. After Patty Seferiano published this video to the internet, many people started commenting that it could be some sort of animal or it could be something else. In a second video, Patty Seferiano records this breathing sound. She ended up recording the sound via WhatsApp application and sent it to a friend and this is what she caught on camera. In this second video, we can hear what appears to be something breathing just below her house. But being that they had called public services and they had found absolutely nothing, they were left with few options. Their neighbors believed it could be some sort of goblin or maybe a duende, a creature that is believed to exist in Mexico and other cultures. It is believed that sometimes these creatures inhabit sewer systems and other places, such as forests and caves. Her family had no other option, so they called a paranormal investigator to check it out. And this is what happened. Thank you. 
Right at the beginning of the video, we can hear the creature breathing under the bathroom floor. Moments after, when he starts spraying the salt around, the dogs all over start barking. At least, this is what internet users noticed and found strange about this video. All I know is that I've never heard this sound before, the one in the first video. And to this day, no one has found out exactly what's going on in Patty Seferiano's house. If you have any idea, please do leave a comment. In the past couple of years, there's been a growing trend on urban exploration and ghost hunting. I'm not exactly sure why, but as the days go by, more and more YouTube channels go into this trend. And I guess one of the most popular YouTube ghost hunting channels is Ehab Kasmia, which is actually an Arab channel. Now I don't know if you know this, but in the Arab culture, jinns or ghosts are taken far more seriously. And if you don't know what a jinn is, it's basically the same thing as a demon in the western world. However, in Arab culture, jinns can transform themselves into animals, humans or anything alike. And there's a specific video on Ehab's YouTube channel where he's hunting for jinns. And things don't go as expected. This is what he caught on camera. Ehab is investigating a supposed haunted house, which is something that he always does in his YouTube channel. All of a sudden he hears strange noises, he looks to his side, it seems that there is someone inside one of the rooms. You can actually see what appears to be someone or something peeking from behind one of the doors. He runs towards the room and there is absolutely no one there. Now take notice that these videos are live streamed, so they are much more difficult to fake. So whatever is going on here, it seems that Ehab found himself inside of a haunted house. But this is not all. Ehab continues in the room, checking it out. He looks into the mirror, there's no one there, and so he continues to chant. This is when things start to become even more eerie. Check this out. For some reason that I'm not exactly aware of, Ehab wants to go into one of the bathrooms to check the mirror. And it is when he does so that he almost regrets instantly. This is what happens next. <laughs> I'm 
الله صوت هذا بيمشي او اذا كل ما الله يقدم شفت مخ ايه بحس الارض هتوقع فيي يما يما بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم While checking the bathroom mirror a mysterious hand can be seen reaching out just behind him immediately Ehab turns around and there is absolutely no one there he checks the room there is no one there What's mysterious about this is that just moments before he had double checked that room and there was absolutely no one there with him. So whatever's going on here, this could be legit paranormal activity, but I'm not too sure. But this is not all. Ehab continues to investigate the house a bit more. And then this happens. <laughs> أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هربت وخفت أنا هربت وخفت بسم الله لا هذا الباب سكر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق هيو والله هيو والله والله وحيات الله هيو بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات Did you see that? At a certain moment, Ehab seems to chant something different, I'm not too sure what. He looks into the mirror and there's actually someone there. It appears to be himself, peeking right back at him, just behind him. Whatever's going on here, Ehab is now scared. And it doesn't take long before he leaves this place. I myself would have left long before. In your opinion, what is going on here? Is this indeed legit paranormal activity? Or is it some sort of prank or maybe someone actually hiding in this house? I'm not too sure if I would be brave enough, however, to venture into a place like this. What would you do if you were in Ehab's situation? If there's one place where mysterious and unexplained things often occur, that would be Canada. And located in Ontario in one of its 250,000 lakes, on Highway 17, east of the city of Dryden, there is a lake known by the name of Thunder Lake. Now a couple of weeks ago, Taylor Braid and a friend of hers were enjoying their time in Aaron Campground just next to Thunder Lake. 
They decided to go kayaking and this is when they captured something chilling on camera. This is what they saw. It's really big though, look yeah. at the way. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Taylor and her friend captured what appears to be a huge, unknown creature swimming just next to their boat. The creature is so big that you can clearly see the water trail behind it. This is what happens next. On videos, I never thought. Oh, holy f oh, I'm shaking. Luckily for Taylor and her friend, this massive and huge creature is now swimming away from their boat. And whatever this thing is, you can see it now leaving a trail while it's turning towards another direction. Now, I've never seen anything like this and I don't think it's a visual effect or the tides created by the lake or anything like that. I think this is something else. So this is the tide. This is the area we were at. And it was coming towards. It was going this way against the tide. It came from here and went straight that way. And taking into consideration that Thunder Lake is completely surrounded by hundreds of other lakes, there could be caves connecting these lakes somehow, creating the perfect home for a monster creature like the Ogopogo. Dr. what is the evidence on Ogopogo? Oh yes, Ogopogo. Well, um, I don't think there's any question that Ogopogo does exist, and uh, actually the evidence I have now the Ogopogo is supposedly a mythological creature that inhabits lakes in Canada and it has been sighted before. Okay, we're at uh, Okanagan Lake, is that the name of the lake? Yeah. And this is the Ogopogo. <laughs> Creatures like the Loch Ness Monster and the Ogopogo may not be just myths after all. They could be out there, taking into consideration that 86% of animal species are still unknown. Who knows what's out there? Have you ever seen anything like this and in your opinion, what did Taylor capture on camera that day? Well, this is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to check them out. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Well, I'll see you guys next time.